will indeed. And the Erie City Council is considering an ordinance would, would establish Erie as the first LGBTQ plus sanctuary in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Erie News Now, Jameson Hicksonbaugh talked with some council members today in the city of Erie to find out just what this ordinance will involve. It is somewhere I was able to move, feel safe, and be comfortable in who I am. As a transgender woman, Nick Slewick is doing everything she can to make Erie a better place. I think the more accepting, like openly accepting we can make this place, the more people know we're on the map as a place that's safe. But those efforts come with some challenges. I have faced just people really not caring a lot at places I work in stuff and management that doesn't have your back and won't defend you when people are attacking you. Lewick and other members of Erie's LGBTQ plus community could soon have additional protection. Best thing we can do is to not solely be reactive to censorship, hate, intolerance. The best thing we can do is to be proactive. City Councilwoman Susanna Faulkner is proposing an ordinance that would establish Erie as the first LGBTQ plus sanctuary city in Pennsylvania. According to Faulkner, the ordinance aims to improve human rights protections for members of the LGBTQ plus community who are seeking housing and employment. Just offer further protections and then also welcome folks who are fleeing hostile states, um, especially families and LGBTQ plus kids um, fleeing those states where uh, they can't get the care and the education that they need. A proposal people like Lewick support. Diversity only, um, only improves a place. Love is love and just treat everybody equally. Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now. And City Council member Susanna Faulkner hopes to introduce this ordinance as a first reading at Council's next meeting, and that is coming up on July 19th.